what what the Hall of Fame is becoming, uh, uh, again, uh, whether the, the rules need to be changed, whether we as lawyers need to go in and do an audit of this process to figure out what's going on. Derek Jeter can't just get one vote, like not get that vote because like someone wasn't feeling it that day. Like it has to be, it has to be based on merit. It can't be based on just like popularity or someone's politics. Like this is not a political podcast by any means. Kurt Schilling like, has a pretty strong baseball resume. Like, and people can say what they want about Kurt Schilling and his politics and whatnot. But like, you know, that, that I don't, I don't think should be criterion for whether you make the hall of fame or not. Someone doesn't like your politics, unless you're uh, a, a bad person, you're committing crimes against humanity, you know, and, and maybe I'll make the argument you shouldn't be allowed in. Like who, who, who for what, uh, if we're just basing this on merit, how are Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens not in the hall of fame? Like I, I something is going wrong in this process. If, like Scott Rowland and Fred McGriff are more deserving for the Hall of Fame than Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens. So I, I'm just, it's the transparency that gets me here. Like, I, this is, just seems like a popularity contest. Like, you have to be really good, and then you have to be popular. Like, that that seems to be the criteria. You know, I, I get Big Poppy's really popular, and like, pe people hate A-Rod, but like, A-Rod's numbers are really good, and he's he's not going to make the Hall of Fame. He's just not. And I, I don't, I don't like and again, A-Rod, he does his own thing. People can dislike him. But since when is the Hall of Fame, like the Hall of Popular Baseball Players, like A-Rod is one of the best baseball players of all time, just on a number sense. So I, I don't love this process, but, you know, maybe maybe that's the point of this. It's just the point to spark conversation. Like, I know people, John, people get pissed off in, in basketball that everybody makes the NBA Hall of Fame. Like, it's just like, hey, if you average 20 points a season, like you're in, don't worry about it. Like, I, I I think we've for, historically we put so much emphasis on the baseball Hall of Fame that I think there should be a little bit a little bit more transparency as to what goes on. But I guess we're not going to get that, John. We can't have our cake and eat it too. Yeah, I mean, I I absolutely agree on all fronts. It's it's hard to transparency is correct because it's hard to hard to say it's legitimate. The baseball Hall of Fame is without the all-time hits leader, all-time home runs leader, and all-time Cy Young award winner. So uh, it, it's just difficult to, to see how legitimate the baseball hall of fame is without those three guys in it. 